Hey YouTube, Dante Lewis here with another episode of Beat Nerd TV. Uh, in this video, I wanted to talk about Low His Systems ESPI. Uh, what this is, is a, uh, a web-based emulation of the SP-1200. Now, I do want to say this. Um, if you were thinking about getting it as it stands now, uh, March 28th, 29th, um, it is not ready. Um, it is very buggy, um, and a lot of the features do not work. Uh, he even has a little caveat here on his page uh, saying, um, please only purchase the beta version if you're willing to provide feedback and you're ready to deal with bugs and report them. So he is relying on the users who decide to purchase it, and you can even get the trial version for free. Uh, but you know, whether you, you purchase it or not, um, it will help him out if you let him know the things that you're experiencing while using it. So you can go ahead and get it, um, you know, ready for launch. Uh, I decided to do a couple of videos kind of pulling it back layer by layer. I haven't seen a lot of tutorials on this. Um, my thoughts on it is, yeah, it's buggy, but it, it can be dope. Um, I think this is going to give a lot of people the ability to make beats for the cheap. Uh, so with that being said, um, the first video I wanted to talk about segments. So uh, setting a segment length, uh, recording a segment, and of course, deleting a segment. Uh, what I was doing at first is I was just closing the application out, but there is a way that you can delete a segment without having to load all your samples and stuff back up again. So we'll go over that as well. So the first thing we'll talk about is setting a uh, segment length. So to set your segment length, what you're going to do here is click the insert segment length button. And when you click it, it will default at two bars. I have mine set at four now, but it defaults at two bars. As many of you know, what this means is it gives you two bars to record on. If you set it to four, it'll give you four bars. And if you record it on eight bars, you would set the segment to eight bars. So you'll have eight bars to record on, right? So we'll go ahead and put it back down to two. Now, once you have your segment length set, uh, you can go ahead and start to record your segment. Now, what we'll go ahead and do is hit the record button to see what I have going on here. All right, so it has nothing. Now, I haven't been able to find any type of count in. So what I've been doing is letting the segment cycle through once, then start my recording. That way I have a metronome to follow. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so we have our first sound recorded. Go ahead and play it back again. Now, one of the things that I've experienced is it can be a little wonky uh, when you're recording it. Um, sometimes the playback is missing the sound and that's the kind of information that he would want. And I think that's important to him to know that, hey, you know, sometimes I'll record a segment and a sound is missing. But if I cycle it through a couple of times, it shows up and that just may be one of the beta version bugs we have to deal with right now. So I'll go ahead and record uh, some more sounds on top of it. And like I said, we'll go ahead and let it cycle through once, then we'll start recording.
All right. So moving forward, what we'll go ahead and do now is uh, erase this segment. So say, for instance, you made an error instead of closing the whole application down and loading the sounds again, which I was doing for uh, quite a while, you can actually erase the segment. So what you would want to pay attention to is right here, you'll see that you're in segment one. So if you go ahead and click the delete erase button here, it'll give you the option to delete a sound or a segment. Uh, my next video will be on, you know, loading sounds and deleting sounds, but here we'll go ahead and um, just do the segment. So we know that we're on segment one. So we'll just go ahead and hit the one here or you can hit one on your keyboard. It'll show segment one. You go ahead and hit enter. And if you play it, you'll hear nothing because that segment's erased. So that's all I got for this video. Uh, I kind of want to do a, um, a series of sorts on this program because I think it has a lot of promise. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, if there's something that you want to correct me on or think I should do a video on, or if you just want to say what's up, leave a comment below. But that's all I got for today. Peace and stay safe out there. Yo, 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 yo.